This is Chris from the faculty. Today I'm making smoked jalapeno poppers. All you need are some jalapenos. I'm gonna wrap them in bacon for the mixture using cream cheese, mayonnaise, shredded cheese, and then season it with a little bit of salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic. So I'll put that mixture in here. But first, I'm gonna cut up these guys lengthwise, leave the stems on, and use some gloves because I wear contacts and use the oil sticks around and burns my eyes. So I'm gonna cut these out, seed them, and but first you have to wash them. Here we go. All right, like I said, you cut these lengthwise. So I like to leave the stem on there because it's easy to grab for people. So separate them like this, and I get a little spoon when I seed these out. Hit it right here on the end and slowly scrape it out. Get all the ribs and the insides out. I hang on to the seeds because I like to throw a little bit back in the mixture. So that's where the heat's going to be. Like so. There you go. Alright, so I took all the seeds and the ribs out of the jalapenos. I saved them in a bowl. And what I did, the crowd I'm taking these to, they love spicy things, so I dropped you know, quite a bit of those seeds back in the mixture. So what I did, I bought some pretty cheap bacon, and this stuff is so thin, usually I would fry it up, but since it was so thin, it didn't fry that well. So what I'm going to do is just cut them in half and wrap them individually. So if you buy thicker bacon, then what I do is I fry them up just to get them a little bit crispy, and then wrap them. Before you get started with this, you want to leave the cream cheese out, because you do not want to try to mix cold cream cheese with the rest of these ingredients because it's so hard to get that stuff softened. So leave it out. It's a good tip for you. So in this mixture I have 8 ounce block of cream cheese, about 3 tablespoons of mayonnaise, close to 6 ounces of shredded cheese, about 2 tablespoons of pepper, about a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of paprika, two tablespoons of powdered garlic. I'm gonna mix this stuff up really good and then I'm gonna use a knife to spread it on in these little boats. Then wrap them in bacon. Oh, before, before the bacon, sprinkle them with panko breadcrumbs for a little crunch. Yeah. All right, so this is kind of what you wanna look for, the consistency. You want some cheese to stand out because that's gonna melt. And <clears throat> I added a couple, about one more tablespoon of mayonnaise and a little bit more garlic powder just keep tasting it because once you add a different layer it's going to change so constantly taste it get it to your liking and you'll be good to go what's going on this is chris from the faculty today i'm going to be smoking some jalapeno poppers right now the electric starter is getting it ready i'm smoking or excuse me soaking some pecan chips i'm gonna throw on top of the fire and i'm going to be using the plate setter make it indirect cooking so get ready they're gonna be good so you can see I have the jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon for the panko breadcrumbs before you wrap them don't get too crazy with it I mean I had a couple probably three little sprinkles of them but the eggs going I just put some pecan chips on there I want to get it to about 300 or so maybe a little less than that sustain it for about 30 minutes just check them uh, you just got to kind of watch the plate setter because around the edges where it's not covering it will char them up a little bit so shuffle and move them every once in a while but about to throw these on there get this smoke in I want to make sure this white smoke burns off uh, if you leave it if you put on too soon it will get a little smoky so just hold off for a little bit but it should take five ten minutes at the most to get that off of there then throw those guys on there let's do this so my temperature is right below 300 so the eyes look like bottom about an inch open Let's see what they look like burp always burp oh yeah they're getting there looking good so you just need to check them and make sure that the outside aren't getting too bad you can see in there I've got a half cut beer bottle or beer can it's full of water just keep some moisture in there it's been 15 minutes since got my pan ready to roll so my transport in for my fancy football draft let's do this 
about to do the 35 minute check and see what we got. Oh yeah, looking good. It's a couple minutes longer, ready to pull them for good. So I pulled these off. It's been around 40 minutes. So some of them, you'll see, for example, when I pick this back up, some of the bacon didn't get cooked enough. So I opened up the top, try to sear these off because I'm on a time crunch. So yeah, here's what they look like. They're gonna be extremely good. It's my wife's recipe. Gotta love her. 45 minutes in, the temperature's rising. As I open this up, let's check it. A little burp action. Oh yeah. So I do this with two hands here. Sorry about that. But yeah, like this right here. It's looking a lot better now. So they'll eat. There's that beer can with the water. Put some moisture in there. So yeah, about 45 minute cook time. Let's see here and get a good close up on that. Get a little adjust. Good color. Man, these are gonna be awesome. All right, guys. Smoked jalapenos on the big green egg. Pecan chips. Sam flaming down there. Enjoy. Here's the finished product in my car. Lay some foil over. One last look. Oh yeah, five star.